All right, new here at three, she runs, she bikes, she swims. There isn't anything this 81-year-old Pinellas County grandmother wouldn't try. And one of the reasons why she's been asked to be a Humana game changer for this month's National Senior Games in Fort Lauderdale. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd tried to catch up with her as she prepares. Well, competing in triathlons is no day at the beach, but 81-year-old Rosie Ray loves every second of it. She trains an average of 20 hours a week. Rosie Ray wears many hats, from cycling to running to swimming. The uniform is always changing, but the spirit never wavers. Be healthy in mind and body and make every day count. Every day you could go out and do something. Rosie credits her late husband, Robert, for introducing her to the triathlon life. He would run and I would walk. <laughs> and we'd get in the pool and uh, he would swim laps and I would swim a lap. <laughs> but it was during an evening swim session back in 2002 that the event took on a whole new meaning for Rosie. I heard sirens going and then I got a call. Robert uh, was on the pool deck and I got there and they were trying to revive him. Robert Ray died of a heart attack prompting Rosie to start the St. Pete Mad Dog Charities Robert Ray Defibrillator Fund. With the idea of raising money to buy defibrillators so that no one else would die at the pools. What would your late husband Robert say looking down at you as you carry on this mission yeah. in, in his honor and his name? <laughs> he would be very, he would be very happy. But defibrillators aren't the only way Rosie is keeping her husband's memory alive. She has gone on to compete in more than 40 triathlons. People pass me on the bike and say, way to go, way to go, girl. And then you pass someone who's 32, and that person, they get their butt in gear, and they're passing me because, you know, it stimulates them. This month, the grandmother of six faces the ultimate test, the National Senior Games in Fort Lauderdale. But she knows every stride, pedal, and stroke, Robert will be right alongside her. He'd be... Come on, Ro, you can do this. Come on, you can do it. You know, let's speed her up. What an awesome story. And Rosie is such a positive person, it seems. Obviously, you met her in person. Very but positive. The story, she seems so positive. And does she enjoy being an inspiration for others and other seniors? Well, not just inspiring seniors, but inspiring everyone. She has actually found the time in between all the training to write two books over the years. One is on cycling. Another is on empowering women, where she writes about being a mom. Those are like thick being, books, too. That's yeah, not a child's book. She yeah. writes about <laughs> how she was, you know, is she a mom, a wife, a career-driven woman, but most importantly, how to achieve your dreams up until your 80s and I gotta say she is such a positive person and a motivational person you know John Cooper's watching maybe you want to call her into the lightning locker room tonight you know and get the players ready for game six because that's how she made me feel like a real winner and uh, you know it's just amazing what she's doing and we wish her the best of luck yes, I wouldn't be surprised if she wins the whole thing oh we would love to follow up with her and you need people like that in your life you definitely do Robert thank you